Hi guys. March the 1st is World Book Day, which is a day to celebrate authors, illustrators, I can't speak, and books in general. And it's, to, it's a day to encourage kids to read, which, as a book lover myself, I think that's a great thing to encourage. So I don't normally acknowledge World Book Day, but I thought this year I would. And I would do it by thinking about what books I would like to reread because I don't think I've ever read a book more than once. Simply because it's always a case of should I reread a book or explore a new world? So I'll go for that. Um, but I have had to think about it and I've got a list here of books that I'd like to read again. So, firstly, The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Uh, the Maze Runner is incredible, the whole series is incredible, and I think especially with all the books and all the films being out now, it'd be cool to go back to the start. Same reason for The Scorch Trials, which is a sequel to The Maze Runner, and with The Death Cure which is the third of the series, although I don't know if my heart can take the death cure, <laughs> but we can try. And still with that series, The Fever Code, which it's set right before the Maze Runner happens. And I'm an emotional wreck, so I was a mess during that book. Then. It was hard for me reading at that point when I did. So now that it's all out, I feel like it'll be even harder, but I'll enjoy it even more. Maybe. I can try. <laughs> and on to a different series. I'd like to reread first book of the Peculiar Children series, which is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. As you guys discovered, I absolutely adore Miss Peregrine's and all things peculiar. And um, I think the first book was my favourite, so I want to go for that. Um, I just summarised here all of the Harry Potter books by J.K. Rowling because I've only I feel quite sad that I've only read the Harry Potter books once but I can't remember most of the differences between the books and the films because I only read them once and it was ages ago so I think I should read them again and I think I should do it like read one and then go on to something else and then read another one just to separate them. Fantastic Beasts Similar to Find Them. The screenplay, I like that and I would like to have a go at that again. And Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. That's the original Peter Pan. And I absolutely love Peter Pan. I have a quote above my bed. And been a while since I read that so I'd like to have a go again. Same thing for the book of the film Peter Pan which is by Alice Alfonsi. I love Peter Pan so I want to go again. <laughs> uh, it's, it's more of a kids book, well Peter Pan is a kids book. The BFG by Roald Dahl. It's been a long time since I read that, and I am not embarrassed by reading kids' books, it's even in public. I don't care. I will do it quite happily. I'm used to weird looks and weird comments. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, sticking with Roldell, Matilda, which I don't like. The f I'm not keen on the film. I really want to see the musical and I remember liking the book so I'd like to have another go at that. And The Witches. I, I 
I don't think I've ever read it myself, but when I was in maybe primary five, my teacher read it to us. Every day she would read a little bit to us and she did the voices for the characters and it was really cool. So I don't know how I would feel about doing it, about reading it without that, but worth a shot. Uh, then Good Night Mr Tom by Michelle McGorian. That was the book we were working on in English in I think third year? Second or third year, I want to say. And I loved it so I kept reading ahead and I would love to read it again. And finally, The Creakers by Tom Fletcher. That's a new one that only came out last year. I read it and I absolutely loved it and I was really sad that it finished, which is a rare thing. Normally, a book, especially if it's a thick book, like it's quite a long book, which The Creakers is a decent length, then normally if it's that size you can get a bit bored with that. Um, feels like it's dragging on a bit and you just want it to be over eventually but there are some books that no matter what like what length they are when you get to the end you're sad the creakers was one and I had that fruit and maze runner books as well I think but yeah the creakers so I absolutely loved it and that's again a kid's book. So I think even if kids are too young to read, they like being read too and they like reading along, like looking at pictures along with you reading to them and I think that's a good way to get them into books. And I would always encourage reading for anyone. I think it's a great thing to be into so yeah. Happy World Book Day everyone. Bye guys.